Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and that I, I have, have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that through in that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering weak he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched, out, stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who work on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evil doers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves tumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be raised upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served. While Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him, Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard 
and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used it to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but to also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. As we've entered Holy Week now, all the events now are, are as we've heard of the trials and, and you know, persecution, uh, the things that are leading up to the charges that will be brought against Jesus. We hear more now of the things that are um, signs pointing to the death that he would would die. And in the, the reading from John today, it's an interesting reading that it takes place after, if you remember, not this last weekend, it was the Passion, but the weekend before that was Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, which was, you know, in and of itself, a prefigurement of the resurrection of Jesus, you know, um, after his death on the cross three days later, that his uh, returning to life. Um, and we know that uh, this is also pointing in that direction. So it's the same people, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And Jesus is having this last supper really with them not the last supper that we're thinking but look with but with his close friends and mary does this act where she takes this incredibly expensive perfume and starts to anoint uh the feet of jesus and really it you know it ties to uh the anointings that take place in uh, the jewish people as part of their burial ritual rituals and and jesus points that out that you know, don't get rid of this because she will need this soon. It's all leading up again to the events of Holy Week. And now as we're really turning our attention much more to this death and burial of Jesus, reminder also that it's also the resurrection that is to come. That the sadness of the events that are about to take place will be replaced with the joy that comes on Easter. But all of us have to prepare in our own way. We have to figure out the things that we need to die to so that the joy of the resurrection can really be fulfilled in each one of us. So spend the next few days thinking about the changes that we need to make in our own hearts. Put those things to pass. Let them die so that we can become partakers in the joy of Easter Sunday. Let us offer our prayers to the Lord, who journeys with us and knows the needs of our hearts. For Pope Francis and all clergy, may God give them courage in their vocation and strength in leading the church in prayer during this holy week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God give them wisdom in making decisions that reflect the goodness of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to see goodness or beauty in their lives, may God open their eyes to his generous work in all around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us that are gathered here, may God grant us purity of heart and clarity of vision in seeing clearly the redemption won for us through the Paschal Mystery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they be anointed by Christ as he welcomes them into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make this prayer especially uh, this morning for all of those who are suffering by the uh, for by the virus and all of those who are impacted by it. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the needs that we hold in the silence of our hearts.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we ask you to generously respond to these, our needs and intentions, that we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. This will be God forever. May the Spirit of God put our be accepted by you, O Lord, and our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon these sacred mysteries we <clears throat> celebrate here, and what you may have mercifully provided to cancel out the judgment we incurred, bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine. Once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his, second, his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son. Grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Donald our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. When freed at last from the wound of corruption, made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. And together, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear toward me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me.
Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, Look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, by which your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go out and try to have a good day today. I know mine started out in a very good way. I went to the grocery store this morning and I was actually able to buy toilet paper. Life is good. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protect, protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.